Hi everyone, Erica from Nitty Gritty Science here, and we are bringing another science activity for you to do at home. If you have ever followed me on my channel, you know I love doing circuits, and so do students because basically once they have the idea of how to build a circuit, then they can go ahead and elaborate on that and build it out with uh, into a parallel circuit where they can build different switches that turn off different lights. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what you need. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard or a cardstock, something a little sturdy to build the circuit on, a piece of aluminum foil. Now parents, I think you should step in here I, just so we're not wasting aluminum foil and already pre-cut into strips. The strips look just about like that and just cut about 20 strips for the students to use then you're going to need some brass fasteners um looks like this right here Let's see if we can get that in there these little brass fasteners that open up we're going to use these to make our switch now if you're saying who the heck has brass fasteners around their house don't worry go ahead and get a metal paper clip and i'll show you a way that you can make a variation using a paper clip for that switch you're also going to need some tape you are going to need ask if you can have it a set of holiday lights hopefully they're broken they've been sitting there nobody's used them in a while because we're going to cut those apart and you're going to need something to cut them so either a pair of wire cutters or again a sharp pair of scissors going to ask permission to use scissors so we're not ruining any scissors if you don't have wire cutters and then you are going to need a nine volt battery to test it all in the end. So how are we going to build this circuit? This is the super fun part. When you have your aluminum foil strips, these are going to be your wires for your circuit, okay? We just said the brass fasteners are gonna be our switches. Then you need your lights to turn on and off. So you're gonna cut apart your set of Christmas lights like this. And when you pull apart, sometimes they'll have these extra strings, just take those right out. And you're gonna cut them apart and you want to leave a little bit of wiring at the bottom, just like that. Now you can see when you cut it, it's going to be straight across. So you need to take your wire cutters or your scissors and just score into that plastic, just a little bit. All right, you don't wanna cut all the way through because we wanna have access to that copper wire that's in there. And you're gonna just kind of take that little piece and you're gonna pull that little end off, just like this. I'm gonna, can you can kind of see where I made the score and I'm pulling it off? Okay, so we're going to pull that right off and then you're going to end up having this, the wire sticking out, okay? I hope you guys are able to see that. Now, once you have this on, probably do it with four or five lights so you can start with a simple circuit. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started building. Now, I've already pre-made one for you, so I need to show you the components when you start putting it together that you need to have to make this successful, okay? This is just a basic series circuit here, and when you build it, you need to make sure you have these um, components. First, you need to have a space just like this. You can see the aluminum foil is exposed, so I, didn't put, I put my tape back here. All right, and that has to be about a quarter of an inch, right? So that way the battery can go ahead and start your, your circuit there, all right? You are then going to need to leave a space where you add the lights here, okay? You can see I've tucked that light down behind the aluminum foil and I've taped it and you need a gap in your aluminum foil because if not, then the electric energy, right? Your circuit, it's gonna run right through that aluminum foil. And we want the current, that's the word I'm looking for, to go up into the light and back down to keep completing our circuit. All right, so if we don't leave this gap, that current is gonna run straight through and it's gonna not light up our light. Then you need to leave a gap for a switch. Now this is how you build your switch. You're going to poke a hole, here's one brass fastener. You're going to poke one for two brass fasteners, and in the middle is a third brass fastener. Let me give you a sneak peek of what the back of this looks like here. See, I have those two brass fasteners that came through. I opened those up, and that other one now goes up through the middle. So that way, when I put it all together, check this out. Now I can turn my switch on and off. Isn't that cool? All right, then we're going to make sure that all the wires are all connected. You want to make sure that there is no tape in between those corners, 
right there. Everything needs to be touching so that way the current can run through. All right, so you'd wanna lay a piece of aluminum foil down, put another one on top, then tape it to secure it. All right, so we have a gap for the battery, a gap where we're gonna place a light, make sure that's taped securely down. You're going to have a gap for a switch with three fasteners and check it out. When you are ready, take your battery, put it right where it's going to go, right on that gap. See, and watch, I'm gonna turn my switch on. Ding! How awesome is that, okay? And then there, it's on and off, turning that switch. Perfect. So now, once you have just built a basic series circuit, go ahead and challenge the students to maybe have a parallel circuit. This is called a parallel circuit, all right? Because we start adding branches in there. And you want to, once they add a branch, and you can see now I've added two lights on here, and I have two switches, have them ask, hey, can you to have one switch that turns off the entire circuit, and then can you add a switch somewhere that turns one light off and keeps the other light on? So that way when they add their battery, look, well, it's kind of tricky, me trying to hold it here for you. Then that way there is the switch that's gonna turn the whole circuit on and off. And then I have one switch down here that's going to go ahead and turn just one light and keep that other one on. And then you notice the brightness of one. Once I take some of that current away, the brightness of this one gets a little bit brighter, all right? Now, I told you if you did not have those brass fasteners, what you can do, it's a little bit trickier, but um, just make sure, instead of putting them here, still leave the gap for your switch, but just take a little paper clip and add a little bit of extra on the aluminum foil, tape one end in, just right here, and then you can go ahead and lay that flat as your switch. And to tur turn your switch on and off, just lift up that paper clip on and off, that will complete your circuit when you set it down on the foil. So just tuck one end in the foil when you want to turn it off. Just go ahead and lift it and that will open your switch just like that. Guys, I would love to hear what you're thinking in the comments. Make sure you go ahead and um, share your pictures. Go ahead and tag me on nittygrittyscience.com on Instagram or on Facebook. I'd love to see how these circuits turn out. Have fun with this one and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.